Hello, now with the easing of the lockdown, I'm going into London for one of my walks. I'm going to be walking from Victoria Station to Waterloo Station. Now my train normally goes into Waterloo, but today I'm changing at Clapham Junction to go to Victoria. Now I wonder if I can find a seat. Ladies and gents, we are now approaching London, Victoria, where the service will terminate. Mind the gap between the train and the platform we're alighting. And please ensure to take all your personal items with you when leaving the train and keep them with you at all time. Thank you for traveling seven. All change, all change, please. Thank you. Victoria has lots of new office buildings and a shopping centre. My walk is about two miles and should take about 40 minutes, longer if you linger. The lockdown is still ongoing and some places are still closed to the public. Originally known as Buckingham House, the building at the core of today's palace was a large townhouse built for the Duke of Buckingham in 1703. During the 19th century, it was enlarged principally by architects John Nash and Edwin Bloor, who constructed three wings around a central courtyard. Buckingham Palace became the London residence of the British monarch on the accession of Queen Victoria in 1837. Well, I've never seen the outside of Buckingham Palace so quiet before in my life. St James's Park is one of London's eight royal parks and covers an area of nearly 57 acres. Pelicans have lived in St James's Park for nearly 400 years. They were originally presented as a gift from the Russian ambassador to King Charles II. Now there are some other birds in the park. Hello, <laughs> I can't have my glasses. Can't have... <laughs> That's hurting. That's hurting.
Horse Guards Parade is a large parade ground off Whitehall. It's the site of the annual ceremony of Trooping the Colour, which commemorates the monarch. Horse Guards Parade leads on to Whitehall, where there are many government offices, including 10 Downing Street. The Cenotaph on Whitehall was built in 1920 and commemorates the dead of both world wars. These are the Twin Towers of Westminster Abbey. Houses of Parliament are currently being renovated, including Queen Elizabeth Tower, which houses Big Ben. Westminster Bridge is one of my favourite river crossings in London. It's a gorgeous spring day. London's still very quiet, but I really enjoyed my walk. Hope you enjoyed it too. I'll see you next time.